Hey everybody, me again. Today we're going to go through the food and auto production tutorial and the military and armor production tutorial. The spiders tutorial will be left for a video for it on it of its own. Right, so let's go into food and auto production. In this tutorial you will learn how to set up a proper food production chain. First of all, create a prepared food stockpile. In order to make meat and bread based food you will need the proper buildings placed. We will focus on bread. Till a nearby 3x3 field in order to change the ground to fertile hummus. Place a grain farm by clicking on the buildings button on the right, then clicking grain farm. You must place it on top of the 3x3 square you have just tilled. Place a mill nearby in order to change the grain into flour. Build a bakery zone with a baker's oven and table. Click on the production tab, the top middle button, in order to set up automated production for bread. The left button is a quick construction button. The right is used in order to have a minimum amount of that number whenever there are enough, are enough ingredients. Hit the right button two times using the plus sign to set up automated production. What this doesn't tell you is how to build the baker's oven itself. It's actually... Eh, you, you'll see. So first we just get a decent amount of lumber. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And we go through and set up our raw material stockpile. That should be big enough. And set up somewhere to place some other raw materials. Now this is where the this part comes in handy. I want this one to be just for the wood alone. So I will right click it, disable all, and then right click again and enable wood. Now my villagers, or well my citizens, will only place wood in this pile. This pile I want to be just for stone. So I'll disable all and then we'll choose stone. And my villagers, oh my citizens, we we'll move it across. Now we need the carpentry to build a ladder so we can get some stones. We can build the required buildings. Oop. Got to wait for the carpentry bench to be made first. There we go. Now that should be more than enough stone. Now to create a farm we choose the till option and anywhere nearby is good, uh, let's say here, till just a 3x3 three three square. Then we go into the buildings tab and choose wheat farm. Wheat farm requires four wood. And this is why you don't give you guys more than one order at a time especially when you're focusing on building one building. They'll get halfway through it and then they'll bugger off and do something else. So we'll just wait for them to come back. Thank you. Now we need the wheat farm and we want it right there. Now also from the buildings tab we need a mill. It takes three stone and one wood. Place it nearby uh, a couple squares away is pretty good I've found. Now, for the bakery, we go into our zones tab and we choose bakery. Set out just a 3x3 three three area, that's all you need for this tutorial. And then we go and build what it wants us to build. The baker's table, which just requires two wood, and the baker's oven. Now, this is where the tutorial doesn't tell you what to do. You need a mason's bench to build this. Building the mason's bench requires a wood detailer, one stone and one stone hammer. So we'll go and build the wood detailer first. That's just one wood and one stone and you place it in your carpentry zone. Now the stone hammer that is required 
comes from the item production tab but we need the wood detailer to build it there we go you go into the item production utils stone hammer well we only need one for this tutorial so just build one it requires two stone and one wood to build and once you guys have built it you can go on to the next part which is building the masonry area so go into zones again choose masonry build it anywhere right here seems good again just a 3x3 three three area and there's our stone hammer so we can now build the masons bench and that's from the utils tab in the building menu there we go so we go back into utils and we can build our baker's oven it's actually usually best to stick it right next to the bakery table so we'll cancel that order select it again and place it beside the baker's table just saves your citizens time from walking from there to there instead of from there all the way over there when it comes to food production you do want to be able to save time now to actually get food or to get bread being baked we go back into the item production go to food baking then go down one to bread now to automate the bread so there's always some in stock so your citizens always have some you click the plus on the side that makes the citizens always have at least one bread in their stockpile for the tutorial we only need two now a wheat farm is rather slow when it comes to actually producing wheat for flour to be made into bread when you're playing an actual game I've found it's best to have one wheat farm per citizen plus one more so in this case eight wheat farms would be sufficient now for wheat to be for bread to be stored somewhere we need to build a prepared food stockpile I usually place this beside my uh, farms now as the wheat farm produces wheat it'll be taken into the mill I believe it takes three wheat to make one flour and one flour is turned into one bread now we don't really need to wait for them to make bread to just complete this tutorial that everything you've just seen is how to have a nice wheat farm for baking bread and as you can see it takes only one in-game day to set it all up anyway that's all let's go on to the final tutorial for this video military and armor production in this tutorial you will learn how to equip civilians and turn them into soldiers first build a carpentry zone with its bench and mine some stone in order to place a wood detailer workshop in the carpentry the wood detailer allows you to craft wooden weapons and armor and you can make them by clicking on the automated production button top center click on military armor wood and click on the left arrow on each piece of armor in order to make two full suits equip the suits once crafted by hitting the pause spacebar key and right clicking on a civilian and clicking on the equip button for each piece now build a barracks in the building menu and right click on the civilian to convert him to a soldier objectives for this is create two soldiers so we'll just get some a nice bit of wood resource uh, that should be more than enough there and we'll build it near this stone here so we want raw materials wood now one thing that you can do in this version of the game which I 
I don't know if it will be in the full version or not, is you can choose to destroy a tree, or pretty much anything else. You just right click on it, destroy tree, it's gone completely. Same with this little bush here. And then you can just fill up any holes, if you end up having holes in your uh, stockpile like I did just then. In this tutorial I'm not going to bother setting it to be this one wood, another one stone, there's no need. So we do need stone though, so we will build our carpentry. And we will find somewhere to dig. In this case, right there. Now, while our guys are, well, our girl in this case, uh, what's her name? Well, Arabella's building the ladder, we'll go into the item production tab. And we can have a look in the military th section. You've got armors and you've got weapons. Under armors you've got wooden, iron, and a whole bunch of other materials that I've never come across except bone. Minus will set up the production now. We just want two... That's right, it's not going to let us until we've got the wood detailer. So we'll click back to get out of there. And we'll build the wood detailer. This is the one thing I find annoying about this version of the game, is that you can't plan to build certain items before you've got the prerequisite buildings. Although I have to admit, it does make perfect sense. There we go. Another Terry's armor wood. Two wooden helmets. Two wooden armor. Two wooden pants. And two wooden boots might as well give them some weapons as well. You can build wood, iron, stone, bone and other. Uh, when you're just starting out with a starting out your little uh, army just give them wooden long swords. I believe the stone weapons are better than the wooden ones but I've never actually tried them and my guys haven't really encountered anything in the this level, level 1, that they couldn't handle with a wooden sword. Because when you play a normal game, 9 times out of 10, there will be enemies on the map with you when you start. Most of the time though, they leave you alone. Unless your guys happen to wander too close to them. Now we can watch how the production is going of the armour by just sitting on this tab. As we can see here, they've built two wooden helmets. They've only built... Ah, just finished the two wooden armour. They've done the pants, and they've done the boots. How are they going with their weapons? They've built those as well. Now this is the one time where you can directly control your citizens. Boris here is going to become our first soldier. First we need to equip him. Now auto-equip tells him to go and find the best armour that you have and to put it on. And Equip lets you just choose individual pieces for each part of his body and what weapon he has. Now even though we've just created two wooden helmets that you'd think would be identical, they're not. One of them has got an attack of one and a defence of three, while the other one is just one and one for both. This goes for everything else as well. So when we tell him to auto-equip, he's going to grab the best of everything we've got and the poor other bugger that we've got... Walter here... <laughs> is going to get the scraps, pretty much. Now even though I've just told them to go put some armour on, they are not soldiers yet. For that we need the barracks. Barracks is easy to build, just four stone. You can place it anywhere, it does not matter. Your citizens will not go running to it for training or anything like that. Although he's going to be building it for us. Thank you, Walter. And 
and there we go. I think the chicken that was hanging around there just got killed by the building suddenly appearing on him. It. Now, to turn these two guys into soldiers, you right click them and convert to soldier. When they are converted to soldiers, they will not do a single thing to help anybody else around. They won't chop down trees, they won't mine stone, they won't bake bread, none of that. All they'll do is find enemies on the map and kill them. That is it. And they're pretty suicidal too. They will fight until either their enemy is dead or, or they are dead. But you can heal them, and I will cover that in the in a first game tutorial. I won't cover that in the next video for the spider tutorial. Anyway, that's all for these two tutorials. Catch you guys later.